Gatina Carrillo. Yes, perfect. Yay! Yay. Yeah. Hi, Bao. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for all the coaching on that. <laughs> you did great. So now we are talking to one of Spokane's visual artists, and his paintings are actually right here. They're beautiful. So welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. Mm -hmm. How long have you been an artist? Since I got here in 2019. Well, I, I know I can draw. I know I can do art. But growing up in the Philippines, there wasn't a lot of opportunities for me to practice my, my skill in, in painting. So I was so focused on my career and my profession that I didn't have a lot of time to to do my art and my painting. So when I moved here in 2019, and while I was waiting for my uh, permit to work, and that's when I said, I might go back to my passion in visual art and painting. And so, yeah. So I could I should say 2019 when I got here in Spokane. So you moved from the Philippines yes. to Spokane in 2019? In 2019. And what brought you to Spokane? I have my sister, the, my sister lives here and I got married. In 2019, oh, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. But he passed away in two years, two years ago. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. No worries. <laughs> so what is the work that you do? What's your medium? Oh, I do acrylics. Acrylics and canvas. And right now I'm doing 16 by 20 sizes of canvases. I've been I think I, I like the sizes enough. Or maybe because I don't have a lot of space at home to do a lot of huge art. <laughs> yeah. So it's acrylics and canvas. And what do you like about working with the acrylics? It's, e uh, I think acrylic is very friendly to artists. You can just like, if you change your mind, you just can cover, cover it up. Well, oil artists would say oil is very, but I haven't tried it, you know, but I'm, I'm comfortable with acrylics and there's a lot of, um, variety and a lot of available paints that are just handy and easy to find. So I'm just going to stick to that. What do you love about what you do? I think what I love about my what I do is because I get to share it. I got to share my passion and my art, especially in my job right now. I mean, in, um, I, I like sharing about my culture and my roots. I'm always particular about how can I be different as an artist? You know, in Spokane, there are a lot of good artists in this town and amazing, amazing. And then I just got a good support. So I just kind of like what I love is I kind of show my culture, my, 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 my traditions in the Philippines. Most of my subjects are the natives of the Philippines, the culture, the tradition and the symbols. But I also explore other subjects like, but I color it with the Philippine flag colors. Oh. So that would be my brand. I think that would be my brand. Philippine Filipino flag colors. Yeah, like my dragon fly. That's oh, yeah. red, oh, yeah. blue, yellow, and white. I and totally then, get it. And my koi's are in red, blue, yellow, and white. <laughs> oh, right on. Yeah. So I wanna. I think that will be my my brand. How do you know when you've had a good day? Oh, because I have a very good painting. <laughs> <laughs> Even if I lately I've been sleeping late because I can't stop myself creating. You know, and in, 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 when I woke up in the morning, when I wake up in the morning, it's like, ah, I'm so tired, but I feel good. I, I'm on the go with my job because I did a great painting last night. Yeah, you know? you're, you're fulfilled <laughs> by what you do. Yes, yeah. What's your vision for where you want to go? Wow, that's a good question. Like, of course, I wanted to have, a, I wanted to own my own studio, you know, but. Do you, while well, speaking of studios, do you have a space here at Mad Collab? Yes, I have a space here at Mad Collab. They, okay. They hang my art here. And if ever I have a big project, like a huge painting, of course, this is the place where I'm going to go. Right. Right. <laughs> That's my vision to have my own. But let's see. To have your own studio. Yes. In Spokane. In Spokane, of course. <laughs> Any questions from our live studio audience? What projects do you have coming up? Besides art, you are all over the city. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, aside from art, I'll be doing, I'll be part of Spokane Valley Summer Theater's um, Escape to Margaritaville. It's a musical. The, music's are, the songs are all from Jimmy Buffett. And it's a regional premiere. 
I'll have a role there. It'll be in July. Oh no, it'll be in August. So I'll be in, I'll be in that production. I'm also doing theater. Wow. So <laughs> I also know you've got a TV thing going on. So you're kind of like what they call a triple threat. You can uh, paint, act, and act. Is there such thing as quadruple threat? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can dance. I'm sure there is. <laughs> and dance. No, it's not good to say that. But anyway, it's coming from you. It's not coming from me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think I can. Yeah, that's. I love, I love performing arts too. Yeah, and there's a lot of good theater communities in town. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, if people want to find out more about you and your artwork, do you have a website or Facebook page, or where should we point them? I don't want. I don't have a website, but I have my Instagram. It's called. It's Gotti B Art. Got to so be it's art. like yeah, it's gotta be art, and but oh right, got it. Gotta be art, or it's got to be art. You know, it's my Instagram, and it's also my Facebook account for my art. But I also post all my art and my personal social media. You know, yeah, that's where they can check my art. I follow you on Facebook, and I love what you post. Thank all, you. All your beautiful, colorful paintings. Thank you. And now I know there's a. Filipino theme, so that makes yes. it even more interesting. I'm working on that. Like I'm I'm trying to have a collection of any varied subjects but color it with Philippine flag colors. So right now what I'm working are tulips. And the tulips, there are like 12 tulips in that painting, and each flower will be colored with red, blue, yellow, and white. That will be a little bit interesting. And I'll have another collection of just purely Filipino culture, but paint it in a stained glass illusion style. I think you've been posting some of that on Facebook already, right? Yeah, I've been posting that because the last two will be, I intend to hang it and submit it to New Moon Gallery for their nude art showing. Nude art? Yes. In July, my art will be in Central Library for the month of July. Congratulations. Thank you. Gazi, thanks for being interviewed today. Thank you too, Val. And th th thanks for making my job so easy. <laughs> thank you. It's a pleasure. You're amazing. And I'm glad you're a part of Spokane. Oh, thank you. Welcome. I'm glad I'm in, I'm in Spokane. You're in the right place. Yeah, love it. <laughs> thank you. Yay.